Hello Doraemons! Welcome back! So for this video, we are going to talk about four important things you need to know in order to not get plagiarism. So it is about incentive. You might may think like we can copy from some other source. But there is a hunch. If you copy someone else's code, it is, you are going to get plagiarism. So you know how plagiarism works. If the same words or same series of words or same series of words of sentences got repeated in the pattern, then it is considered as plagiarism. And in order, like if you get some code and you like same paste the same code in the exam time, then you will get this plagiarism error. And the worst part is. Uh, the person who submits is first will be considered as the person who have written the code and the person who submits after that person they will be considered as plagiarized or they copied from some other sources so make sure you don't get into these things if you are marked as two to three times you may be got out of or blacklisted from the attempts you can take so my suggestion is not to get into these troubles but if you act smart you can also get incentive using that course so here is the four tips you can get to avoid or do not do in the exam so yeah so the first one is you should not have the same variable names you might have seen this like only changing the variable names will not change the entire pattern it's like if you're just rearranging the word is by in it will not change the plagiarism sentence so changing only the variable names will not like get escape you from the plagiarism detector so what you have to do is you have to change the little bit of your logic and also some important detailing should be done so what in the sense so you know this is the format to write the python code i've been trying to say this for long you might have known this this is the pattern you need to follow if not make sure you watch my previous videos those are very detailed completely so if you learn that i think you don't want to like worry about plagiarism because you are going to write the code by yourself so if you write the code by yourself you don't want to worry about the plagiarism but if you're copying from some other source you have to worry about it and my highest recommendation is not to copy from anything because i have taught you everything there is no need to copy from it okay so if in worst case scenario if you get a code and you may think like this forums where you get code are uh, shared by thousands of people so my suggestion is not to use that code but if in any case if you are a little brilliant you can follow these techniques to avoid plagiarism and who knows you may even get an incentive which if, if your score crosses 55 plus so let's see so first thing you have to keep in mind is to change the variable names don't keep the variable names as it is and one more trick is if you like if here i have given like k l and m if you just delete this and change all the case to like p a or b that will again be considered as a plagiarism because changing one single letter in a paragraph will not even stand a chance so you should do something like the names which is given in the question like if it is given for id over here you can give like item id instead of k and you have to replace everywhere where k is used to item id you have to do it and like that uh, you can get um, a good way like xk escape from this plagiarism and then you should also consider all other names so let's get started with the main program so in the main program itself you have to declare something different for the list name and even for getting a number and for this even in over here you have to make some difference like you have to give some difference usually we'll use i 
you can use i i think that will not be considered as a plagiarism because everyone uses i and j in for loop but in this place uh, you know everyone's brain works different and uh, if you want to get escaped from the plagiarism so what you need to do is you have to change this everything and the way you pass is going to be same but you're going to defer the names the this in the built-in function for it should not change but you can change the class name and here you can change the variable names like that and see in the logic when it comes to logic and the main important thing is about the objects and what you're writing over here so make sure you create some different object and if like some details are passed over here try to give it in the function like where you're using it except the main list so you know what is a main list if you have been watching my previous videos so main list is a like a list of first set of values which you give to your program so uh, you have to vary that if you are giving like any extra values you can directly pass it to the function or in the code which you are getting it is like passed from the function you can directly pass it to the init function so in that way you can show that your code is different and for this inj if you are getting like two for loops you can exchange the way or if it should go like this, you, you can consider some different elements and you can show difference in your logic. So if you totally understand the pro program only, you can um, actually change the things. So first thing is to understand the program, you have to understand it. And then you have to first change the variable names. And next you have to change the logic and the order which is it is written in so uh, that needs to be also considered the order should be changed the variable name variable name should be changed and the logic should not be completely changed it should be like altered uh, if you can alter some of the loopings and if you can alter some of the addition and subtraction then you may escape from plagiarism but you can use the same logic in the functions so if they are using two different functions to do the same thing you can put it into one in one function itself you can do those things and you can print the output so in that way you can show your code is different and that's how it works and these are the four major things you should remember to avoid and escape from plagiarism first thing you should not copy the code as it is second thing you have to analyze the program and then you have to change every possible thing you can change which is variable names and next one is the logic so logic in the sense I'm not telling you to change the main logic but you can change the sub logics like passing the inputs over here like this you can change the names and you can use insert function if you are well versed you can use insert function uh, and um, over here in this place calling the function uh, like if you are passing every value from the main function itself you can alter it to function 1 and function 2 if you want to know how to do that I'll link a video above in the cards so you can have a reference of how to do that and fourth thing is you have to alter this main logic in the best way possible without like messing up the main logic and I know this is a bit hard but there is no other case like if you want to get code from some other course and you want to avoid plagiarism then this is the only solution that you can try and i highly suggest not to do it because it is already available in my channel if you're following me you might have like liked all the videos i have all already solved several different logics and if you go through them and you also have the questions in my blog post down below you can check that and you can learn from there and it is a total up to you totally up to you and one more thing like people ask like i have completed executed my code but i didn't get got only two marks for execution of code and all you'll not be getting mark only if you pass the test cases if you get only tick four ticks or five ticks in the test cases then it will be considered as for evaluation not only executing the code will give you marks 
so please make sure on that and that's it for this video i'll be meeting you in the next one and this is your very own code doremon signing off keep learning keep talking bye